guys this is your boy Neil Albie Taylor back with another live video hope you guys can hear me clear as day I'm just trying to get my clothes ready get ready for work um title of this video is um let me move this camera yeah the title of this video is called God will test your discernment gotta talk about it because God tested my discernment this morning. I know I got paid yesterday, right? I got paid a good amount of money. At least close to $2,000, right? And I spent my money on all the bills that I needed, like the major bills that I needed to take care of for the month. I paid my, my rent. I paid my doctor's bill that I have a payment plan on. I paid my insurance as far as the um yeah yeah that has to do with the doctor's bill. I paid T-Mobile because I have a T-Mobile account. I paid back the government all the money that I had to pay back the last payment plan shit due. So I paid back all of that right. And I went shopping for food. And I washed my clothes. So I know I spent a good amount of money. I should have had at least 16 change left in my account. Right? Not getting too personal with my, my business. But I just want to give you guys an understanding of how God works. Right? So I see that after I spent all that money, I was left with 600 and change. Right? That's that much money I have left to take care of all the other things I need to take care of for because you get paid every other week right so I woke up this morning I look at my account I see that I have 930 something dollars in my account and I'm like wait a second I know I paid the IRS or at least say the, the, the state tax because I think the IRS and state is two different things. So I, I had to pay back state taxes. So to, to the state, I know I paid them off. And I called them the I called them yesterday and told them over the phone that I paid them. I gave them the confirmation number. I have a receipt of the confirmation number. And he, I asked him, I said, he said, I said, how long would it take to show up in the system? Because I know that it takes a couple of days for it to show that it's processed. And he said, that's correct. I said, in that time, is it going to still be building interest? He said, yes. I said, do I have to still pay that money that's building up as interest if I already paid off the full bill? He said, no. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. I said, okay, I'm going to call back again next week and find out from you guys. You know, and he said, "Okay, you could do that." So bet. As far as my as far as my doctor's bill, because I went outside of my my normal um providers for my in, my health insurance, so I have to pay a, a, a doctor's bill of two hundred and change. I paid off half of it, so the other half is is a hundred. And I should be able to do that but the next time I get paid. So those are the two major bills that I took. Like two out of the three major bills. Because I took another amount of money. A huge amount of money. That's for my rent. So I paid off my rent. That's done. That's different. I I I um paid off the state. And I paid half of that bill for the doctor. Right? Because I had an ear infection. If you guys remember my older videos, I talked about my ear infection. So, I should not be left with $930 if I was paid almost close to $2,000. And I took a, a lot of money on a, and then paid off all these bills and put, took off for rent. And I went food shopping, which was 50 Everything came up to $50. I should be left with six and change. Right? And I see nine hundred and something dollars. And when I look at the transactions, 
I do not see this, the New York State transactions on my Chase account. And I do not see the doctor's bill on the Chase account. And I, and I pray to God. I said, God, what is going on here? This is not normal. I said, everything else is showing that I paid these things. I went to the it showed that I took out 500 and change for my rent. It showed that I took out money to pay my T-Mobile bill. It showed all of us up but with these two bills, the New York State tax and the doctor's bill. It doesn't show up in my Chase account. I said, this is not normal. And I said, these are the two things I've been concerned about. I said, it's the devil playing tricks with me. God didn't say nothing. I guess he wanted me to figure it out. So I said, God. I don't know how to feel about this because it might feel like, yo, I got money, random money just randomly appeared in my account. And I can't find these bills. These bills just naturally, these supernaturally disappeared out of nowhere. So I'm looking and I'm praying. And the story of Jacob and Libby Ann, if you ever read the story about Jacob serving Libby Ann for seven years because he wanted to marry his daughter Rachel he served the he served Livian Rachel's father for seven years in order to marry her and then he served the seven years and he didn't get to marry Rachel yeah he married the younger daughter and then he served another seven years and then he was able to marry Rachel and then he kept serving this guy and he wanted to be out he's like I did my time and you still holding me against my will so I subconsciously thought about that story because I was reading that story earlier in the week. And I was like telling God, I was like, God, I feel like Jacob. I feel like I pay my dues. I pay this IRS bill off in full, even with interest. And they told me, yo, this is how much you're going to be at the end of the year. If you do the payment plan of $200 a month, I said, yes. I, I end up spending $400 every month because I get paid every other week. So I was able to take out $200 and change every other week to cut this thing down and now fu fully pay it off. So I say, why is it not showing up that I pay this off? Even though I have the receipt in my email account. So I started rebuking this spirit. I said, spirit of delay, spirit of financial corruption, spirit of satanic manipulation i rebuke that spirit i realized it was a spirit and it was not from god and through just talking with god where am i getting at i said talking with god will get you to have god show you the answer or have you speak out the answer and give yourself the answer so i said you know what this is not from god i rebuke it and i said god if this is not from you Father God, I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke this spirit that's coming against my finances right now in the name of Jesus. I said every satanic agent coming against my finances, I rebuke it now. And guess what? When I did that, before I, before I get to this next part, I said, but Father God, I said, if this is of you, I said, reveal to me. What is going on? Why are you doing this? I said, if this is of the enemy, reveal this to me. I said, if this is of you, reveal to me why. What are you trying to show me? See, you got to get down to the neutral place. You don't want to be left or right. You want to be neutral. You want to say, God, reveal to me what is this? What is what is what is the higher meaning of what is what is going on? Because I need to know what are you trying to show me? So when I said that and I went back. To go on my Chase account, the numbers went back to its normal place. It went back to the 600 and change that I originally had. And it showed that these things were pending. So I said, okay, why wasn't that showing that before? And now all of a sudden after I prayed, it started to show the actual numbers again. So I said, now this is a spiritual attack. And you have to pray against these things when you supernaturally see things that just happen out of nowhere, especially with your finances. And you got to keep on top of that. So I'm just saying this as a, as, a, as a video, as a testimonial video, that God 
will test you and test your discernment to make you understand that not every blessing or things that happen in your life supernaturally is always coming from God. And not everything that is happening in your life supernaturally is actually coming from the devil. You got to know what is God's overall plan for allowing these things to happen. Because God is the overseer of all things. So if the devil is attacking you, you got to ask yourself, okay, if the devil's attacking me, on some level, God is allowing this to happen. Why is God allowing this to happen? And because I have a personal walk in and talk with Christ, he shows me things or teaches me things through spiritual warfare to grow closer in faith with him. So I said, God, I know how you work on certain level. I'm not going to say I know everything about God because you can never understand God. God is infinite. But for the for three almost three years that I've been walking with God, God has been teaching me how he is. He's been teaching me his ways. And when I look at that and... I've been through a lot of different stuff. I say, yo, this is a spirit. I off the back, I was able to discern this is a spiritual attack. Off of the back, and then off the back, I was able to rebuke it. And when off the back, when I did that, God naturally changed the account back to six hundred and change. And I'm like, wow, that is spiritual. That is spiritual. The enemy will fuck with you. I'm just keeping it real with you. But God has got your back. And you got to trust God. And I think that was another test of faith. To see if I'm going to trust in God. Or trust in man. Trusting in man was going to call all these people. And say yo what's going on. Did you take out the money and all that. But trusting in God. Because I knew that was spiritual. Because I said I knew I paid off those bills yesterday. And I have the receipts to prove that. Why is the account not showing that? I said, this is this is satanic. And I rebuke it. And guess what? It, it changed back. So that meant that, it, that that was spiritual to try to throw me off. But with that being said, leave your comments in the comment section below. Trolls will be blocked and deleted. Peace.